Hi, this is RGK and I'm playing Mr. Shifty, a game that is still in beta, so it's not early access or it's not released or anything, there are just a few levels to play. And I can say for now that it's actually quite good. It's very largely inspired by Hotline Miami, but with a twist, as you can see, I can teleport just like Diablo in X-Men. And also this character cannot pick up ranged weapons only melee weapons, so it's also gonna change the dynamic of the fights a lot and it's much more in your face action than Hotline Miami but also with more puzzles than Hotline Miami it's just that you don't have that approach that you had in Hotline Miami of like having to figure out when to use um, range weapons that are very noisy or when to use melee weapons okay so let's try this it's gonna be very bad oh yeah just like in Hotline Miami you can push a door in their face which I failed here so enemies are just gonna aim right where you where you were just a moment before okay. and it gives you just enough time to move behind them or on the side or something and kill them. So what I was supposed to do here was to use the laser to kill them but I like to beat them up. The combat in this game is really really fun. There is a lot of weight to the punches like you, you have like you, you're gonna see here the glass being shattered. The, the items being destroyed by the fight and look when someone gets into a wall there is an impact on the wall so I got hit normally I would die but my combo bar was full so I could survive one hit I'm gonna pick up this melee weapon here can one shot enemies but after some usage it will um, it will just break and I can't use it anymore except for male weapons there will be male weapons later see he can even destroy walls that's really cool the male weapons are really good and at some point there, there is a statue holding a trident and picking up the trident and then throwing the trident that will impale enemies in the chain, that's just amazing. So they managed to add enough variety and not just the punch. Because yeah, I thought it would be boring at first since there, there are no range weapons but they still have many things that make the game enjoyable like many enemies, different kind of melee weapons and all these puzzles like you have seen with the lasers and so on. We got it again. Gonna... Actually I'm gonna keep this for a bit later. Look at the door. Bam! This is really cool, it feels great to play this game. So yeah, I think you definitely should keep an eye on it. The only thing that I like less um, than the Hotline Miami is the absence of blood, sadly. And of course the music. I like some blood in my games, but it's, it still feels great even without the blood. There is a physicality to the punches, to how the enemies and background react, so overall really good. And here we have a different face, so you, yeah you can see that even if it, at first it looks like Hotline Miami, in the end it plays very differently. Also very very fun. It's like next gen Hotline Miami, about the blood. <laughs> okay, I'm almost out of there. Here. And I can just stop the lasers. Awesome. I lost my weapon, I think I threw it in a wall and it broke. So I'm gonna use this mechanical keyboard instead. No, actually you can just throw it, you can just you cannot like use it to directly hit the enemies. Alright, what do we have now? Oh we take this. Oh I almost got killed by that guy. Yeah, you need very good reflexes to play this game, as you can see. Or maybe, I mean, once you died, you can just instantly come back and you know what to do. It's, it can become quite difficult, um, even with, with your superpower at some point, because like there was a, a level where I had to survive for 1 minute 30 with like huge numbers of enemies coming. It was super difficult, but it felt really great, very satisfying and challenging. So I think so far the difficulty is well balanced in, in this game. 
Which is surprising because you have like this awesome superpower. And one last here, take that. Yeah, so, so far very very good first impressions. So we'll see how the game gets in the long run, but at the moment, like, no problem. Oh, I didn't even die. It's because I've already played this a uh, few times, like uh, when I did the French video and so on. So far the story, uh, you are a thief getting plutonium from a really bad guy in his Trump Tower or whatever. And that's about it, so the guy gets uh, annoyed and sends all his goons to kill the main character. We'll see later how this develops, but to be honest, I don't really care if the story is bad in, in a game like that or if it's very simple because the gameplay itself really makes it. Whoa! And here I died. Finally. <laughs> in just one shot. See, new type of enemy. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will subscribe if you want to discover more indie games. Bye bye!